Welcome back to Adobe <laughs> Live. I'm Ellie, and we have Tetch in here today. Hello. Thanks and for having me. Yes, we're so, I'm so excited. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. We're going to be working on some photo compositing, starting off in Firefly, and playing around with building some cool fantasy landscapes. So thank you so much for joining us. If you are here, say hello in the chat. Let us know where you guys are watching from. And feel free to ask questions as we go along and learn from Ted. It's going to be great. Hopefully. I can yes. teach you guys everything I know. Yes. Nothing, nothing too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> should, be, should be fun. Yes, Do? absolutely. We yeah. have Alejandro here, Alessandra, Wade is here, Gala. Hey. Thank you so much for joining, Christian. Get the party started. Let's you know. go. Yeah, the next hour is going to be so fun together. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, we're going to, well, in the past few stream that I did here yeah. with the, uh, Adobe, we do the Firefly. We talk about like build, how to use Firefly to build mood boards and use it to like um, use the tool to like composite two different photos together, building like fantasy world and stuff. So today I thought about like what would be something interesting to brought to you guys, right? Like something not too complex, but like something like a uh, actual way that I'll be using for myself to yes. use the tool, um, the AI to help me to create. So uh, I figured like, hey, we can go on to Adobe Firefly. We can type in some like fantasy world, dream world keywords, like to type it and then generate some board. And we're gonna go to Adobe Stock because there's a free section there. So awesome. all of you guys can practice, right? Yes. You don't have to waste your credit. <clears throat> and then we can download it and then we're gonna composite together in Photoshop. Perfect. Yes. <clears throat> Sounds Sorry. like a plan. Yeah. I'm excited. So we're gonna go to Firefly and then text to image. And then you can feel free to do it too, right? Maybe I'll grab the mobile oh from goodness. you. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Let me pull up there. But... And I had the keywords copy and paste already because I, I keep forgetting. It's like if I type fantasy world, fantasy landscape, it gives me like two different results. So I was yes. like, okay, fancy, fantasy world landscape. Isn't that crazy how one word can just change everything? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like I still haven't really mastered the way to use the prompt because I know like yeah. you can describe like a whole sentence, right? Like right. Like down to the details and everything. And I was browsing around too. I saw um, there's some amazing artwork people done. Um, there's like the black and white landscape photography looks really good. Yes. I don't know if it will show up on uh, my scoring right now, but I saw yesterday when I was like looking for inspiration. Oh, I like the ice, the flower around, or the ice around the flower. I think it's up a little bit more. Up a little bit more? Oh yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, and I like that like when you hover the mouse on the top, yes. you can see the keywords. I was just gonna say know. that because then it gives you ideas of how you can kind of craft your prompts. Oh, just like wow. hey, moving to a new place, right? Oh, that's not that's what beautiful. I want to make, but you can use that for interior design. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hop back on here, and we gotta type that. I think I use R instead of R. Use photo and digital art. Yes, and it's loading, right? Yes. So then it's like give us like few idea and concept, and you can go in there, pick the one you really like, thumbs up or not. Yes. Uh, personally, I really like surreal landscape. Yeah. I just like some really cool. somewhere, some place that I can escape my mind to, right? Yeah. So that's like something I really like. What this about you? This is cool for, yeah. well, I like the idea of this, like if you're reading a book, maybe yeah. a fantasy book or something, and you're like, wait, I want to picture what this could look like, you could type what that landscape is into Firefly mm -hmm. and it could generate like, you know, yeah, which would be really cool to kind of then be able to visualize what certain scenes could look like. Or I know yeah. that's like something I really like about like reading books. Yeah. Like when I was a kid, I read a lot of books and then it's just like, oh, I can start seeing like, you see it in your mind yeah. and then now you can like create what that world could look yeah. like, which is cool. Yeah. So. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, Hello from LA. Yay. Yay. So this is like a lot of like more, um, I don't know if it, you can download it, but I yes. don't know if you can ping it on history. So yeah, you can download a copy or you can keep refresh and generate it till you find something you really like. Mm -hmm. And you can um, show similar. So if you're like, I like this, but I want to see more options. Yeah. You can kind of expand on that. When you use Firefly and yeah. generate stuff, how many times do you usually try to get like the perfect result It kind of depends because sometimes it comes up right away and it's like, that's the one I want. But then I'll usually do at least one more just to see if it will give me something else that I like. Yeah. But yeah, I mostly, we do product photography, so I'm mostly using it for mock-ups for, oh, or like oh ideas God. for, or ideas for sets and stuff like that. Um, 
I so. used to do a uh, retouching too. Yes. So I, just, I remember like it takes a lot of work yes. to like patch, fixing all the details in there. Yes, I know. I know. Um, we're excited about just like being able to expand things a lot more easily. Mm -hmm. You know, because you might shoot something um, and it, you know, it it crops to a square really great, but then the client is like, actually, we want to use this on an Instagram story or a web header, and you have to expand it. And it's so much easier to do that now. Yeah. So, okay. awesome. So, I'm going to grab this two photo. Okay. So, one thing I really like about the concept art, typing yeah. concept art landscape on Firefly, is like, uh, when it comes to photo composite, right? Um, I don't know if it's the same for the product. It's like, yeah. Um, we have to get the lighting yes. and then the color, then toning, the direction, perspective all matched together. Right. Uh, one thing really hard to study is like lighting, right? Because like not a lot of people get a sense of it where the lightings come from instead of like left to right, right to left or top yes. button, there's actually three dimensional, like how the real life like right. works, right? Yeah. So yeah. a good way to do that is here, I'm going to create a file. I always go with uh, 16 by 20, I think. Vertical, sorry. So it's like for um, four by five ratio. It's perfect for social perfect, media, Instagram. Yeah. You can do sixteen by nine too so for the TikToks and Reels. Yeah. So I use this and three hundred DPI uh, resolution is just like in case if you really like the design, you want to like print it yeah, and then use it's it. Yeah. Nice to have yeah. that option. You can yeah. blow it up to like forty inch or like more than that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Let me grab these two. And then I have all the other files there. I wanna, I'll show you guys in a bit, like why I have them. So the cool thing is that once I grab these two photos, right? So let's say like these are like different type of art. Um, I don't, not necessarily have to build exactly the same how I'm seeing on here, but it's a great reference yeah. and a study for me, right? So we're doing like a quick study, and then to break it down, you can see like something like um, first of all, if well, there's a few things we can do. One is that we can expand, crop expanding and fill the space. Yes. So we'll probably do that so too. So nice. I'll we'll select this too. Just generate fill, generate. Hope this is not going too fast. <laughs> yes, if anyone has questions as Ooh, we're going, God. just drop them into the chat and we'll make sure to, to answer those. But everyone's saying hello. Luma yeah. Corn, hi. Hello, hello. Melanie Tomas from Costa Rica. That's awesome. Let's go. Okay. So we have these two. I'm gonna group them together. Um, and a quick breakdown. A best way to study um, lighting, composition stuff is probably just turn into black and white, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's the same for you yeah. when you take photo. Um, when I practice on photography, I like to take like black and white color. Yeah. Because in there I can study like the lighting, the textures, the directions of aligning, everything designed into the elements. Mm -hmm. um, so I realized that you can do the same with photo composite too to testing if everything match, right? That makes so much sense. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you're trying to figure out where the light source is coming from, and then you're using AI to generate reference photos so you can like use the same style or yes. um, idea to apply to the photo you want to composite with. Yeah. Right? So when I turn to this and I can simply break this down to, to like say like, hey, a um, few elements I need, let's say, let me move this here. I oh, know, mm -hmm. it's still there, okay. So we have like kind of foreground right here, little area, and then we have this like kind of like middle-ish yeah. in the back. Right? Yeah. So pile layers, right? And then there's the, the distant one right there. I'm gonna cover that, cover that. And then there's the there's the sky. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, so I like to use this to apply to my artwork. Yeah. So I always bring build like layers on top of layers. Mm -hmm. Um to create like a devil fill and then from Yeah, it gives it depth. Yeah. So you break it down, have a different layer, and then you can tell like, okay, like um, the further the object goes, like the more faded mm -hmm. in distance, right? Mm -hmm. is, that, is that is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's becoming <laughs> yeah. more um, blurry. Faded, yeah. Fuzzy. Now you can tell like the lighting here is more like brighter color. Like you mm -hmm. can hide those, right? You can even make it fight. Like the sun is probably right there behind yeah. that. Yeah. And there's the peak. Yeah. Like, let me see. You have color like this, the foreground, middle ground, like there. So you can symbol like all the different tones and color here, right? Yeah. So like the darkest color in the foreground is like this, but the darkest around here is kind of like that, right? So you see like yeah. this actual slightly different into it. Yeah. So when you composite into um, photos, right? It's the same too. 
like the object in the further like all the way in the back is not gonna have the same tone and shading yeah compared to the front right. so this is like some beginner tips um if you guys didn't notice that you know it's a pretty pretty fun trick i use so then i can use that to apply to like multiply or um blending to like different layer right there's right like, to make sure it looks realistic yeah yeah so that's how but with like photo products it's probably more fun to like you get to design the whole thing before you even start it so you right. don't have to worry about it yeah yeah so it's like instead of like spending five hours making the light correct you spend like <laughs> 10 hours getting all your equipment ready for it yeah building <laughs> the actual set yeah. yeah yeah so it's it's almost in a way like if you're a photographer interesting to get into composite like this mm -hmm. um just imagine like you're building the light set but now in like virtual yeah. in your head on the canvas, if yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So you're building that um, instead of like, you know, in real life. So it kind of makes more sense and they're all like relative to each other. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that being said, I'm gonna hide these because I already pre gen some photos huh? before the live. So I was just like, I can go with a, a simple study and direction I want to. So this is like the something I cool. type in, fantasy world, landscape. And then um, this is the photo I want to use. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna fun. bring that into here. And same thing. Gonna do that. The other thing you can do is also like um, I think it's like when you let me see as that goes. You can just also expand, expand it, generate, expand it to yeah. that. Um, it's the same way. It will just like fill the other space. Yeah. Um, but. Personally, I'm just doing it here so I can get the best uh, resolutions. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, then you'll know what size exactly. You don't have to, like... Just got to generate that. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you for Waiting joining for us, Marsha. If anyone is just joining us, um, Ted is working in Photoshop. This is an image made in Firefly, and he's going to be um, compositing it, some things into it. Or yeah. around it. Sorry, sweaty a little That's bit. That's okay. <laughs> You're working hard right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm working hard for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can go with that. That's cool. I like that one. Yeah. So in front here, it's the same thing that um, do a quick, quick breakdown, right? So we can tell the lighting is coming from like this direction. I would say. Yeah. Right, so I would say like something bright here yeah. that comes in, and then you have a highlight here, some highlights there, some object, foreground is water, and then there's like, this is like the dark shadow, right? Um, so it's just like when, when the light is coming from here, you have something here, it's gonna be like darker. Yeah, and then there's gonna cool be opinion. like a light bouncing around, right? Yeah. Coming here, bouncing, 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 that kind of like bounce all back. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's yeah. really bad, right? <laughs> it makes sense, right? It makes it sense. Make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks horrible, but it makes sense. Right? Yeah. So that's what will be, I, I call it fine tuning. So it's post editing, fine tuning, right. yeah. editing, you know. Um, sometimes it looks interesting, so sometimes it looks really boring. Just like, sure. Um, we're just doing minor detail fixing, right? But those are the details that somebody might not notice, but then that's what actually makes it look realistic. Yeah. If it wasn't there, it would be like, it, you people would know. They may not be able to put their finger on it, but they would know that it's not real. Yeah, so if I want to manipulate, composite this photo, there's a few things I'm going to be looking for. So one is probably, uh, I'll call this number one, it's like this piece, the foreground, and then something in the middle. I'll put it right there. And then these right here, the mountain, the third piece, mm -hmm. and then the cloud, right? So yeah. that's like number four. So I did like one, two, three, and four. And I don't know if this will be there or not because like the lighting doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I feel like that it looks like that should be the lighting source, but then it's not. Yeah, but we could also put like a moon or like yes, uh, something, something you know, that would make more It is sense. a surreal dream world. So yeah. it could be anything you want it, right? So Absolutely. remember, we're using this for <clears throat> reference. So yes. it doesn't have to be perfect. Yes. Debbie says, I love compositing. AI has just sped up the process of pulling images together. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, when I first got onto got my hand onto AI tools, yeah. I was like very excited. I was like, oh my God, like I hit an art block. I didn't have any idea what I want to do. Right. Like running out of ideas, right? So I was like, oh like I'll typing like um, words and keywords into AI. So um, it works for me. Yeah, um, and absolutely. come up with like a lot of great idea, right? Yeah. Um, but then um, after playing for like 
few weeks, few months straight, and I got a little bit tired of it because it's mm-hmm. like, yes, those are my ideas, but those are not really like my work. If that makes sense, right. yeah. Yeah, but then now you can make it into your work. Yeah, now yeah. it's just like okay, I can use it for move board and then create anything at one. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. So for those of you who are not subscribed to Adobe Stock, I know it's, it's uh, not too pricey, but you know it yeah. depends, right? Um, I don't know when they added this, but there's a free section there, or yeah. maybe it was there the whole time. I just never saw it, right? <laughs> so if you want to practice, take advantage of it. Yeah, yeah. you want to practice editing, finding photos, you know, use for inspiration, mm-hmm. or creating anything you want. Just go here, click free. So it's really, really nice. Oh, and yeah. you can see all the stuff I like search already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. So we're gonna look for mountain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's see what we need. I'm gonna switch in between. I also have a few photos that's ready, but we're just gonna like actually just go to through see what there is. how I usually go to, right? So subcategory, putting photos, mm-hmm. um, make sure everything's look right. Doesn't matter if I have people in it or not. Yeah. Um, they have really good options. There was also uh, other, sometimes see, sometimes I don't, but there's an option you can pick um, if it's include or exclude AI photos. Yeah. Yes. So you don't accidentally uh, license uh, AI comp- uh, product. Right. There, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you use uh, Adobe Stock too? Or? We do sometimes. Yeah. 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 We don't use a ton of stock. Well, and now what's really nice is because like what we have used stock for in the past is maybe like, for example, there was a client where she really wanted figs in the photo. Uh. And they were out of season and we couldn't get any that looked good. So we kind of shot with this like weird like frozen one that didn't look that good. And then we took a stock photo and we just put it like a fig in oh, there nice. but like we still had to like ma- match the lighting and everything yeah, know, you know yeah. but now we can just generate a fig into the image and it's so much easier and it kind of matches everything for you so save a lot of time it's gonna save a lot of time but yeah that's most of what we use stock for is things like that kind that's of funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's funny you say fig because like uh my friend and i we have a uh, fig trees in our really? backyard yeah they still have some fruit let me know next time you next need time, it i'll, next I'll cut time it down I'll and you yeah. can use it <laughs> yeah i forget what time of year it was but they were just not in season so my mom randomly had some in her freezer so mm-hmm. that's where we got one but <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So some photo we can use is like this one is really good. Um, I oh, like yeah. like the That's, foreground. I love so that. It kind of match with that lighting. It was the same lighting right from left to right. Yes. That yeah. would be something interesting to uh, add to Adobe Stock. Like you can search based on lighting direction. That would be really cool. Ah, there you go. There New you idea. Go. <laughs> New idea for you guys. You heard it here first. Yeah, Umicorn says the free stuff was always there. Yes, it was. That was always um, there? I think it was, but... I didn't know. Well, I, I, think, I think it was. But <laughs> you can search it so easily. So I don't know if that search... I don't think I've ever searched like just free like that. So yeah. it's a good tip to know if you're looking for free mm-hmm. for free images to use. Yeah, you can tell like there's, there's a lot of like um, uh, example that I already like pre-downloaded. But we yeah. can also look some of like extra ones. So let's see what else we need. Maybe we do need some crazy cloud. Yes. Do yeah, something. Debbie says there's been an included portion of stock images for a while. Seems like we have access to more when using Adobe's tools now. Yeah, because I know when you use Express, you have access to stock too, which is really awesome. Oh, I didn't so know you that. can pull mm-hmm, you can pull from um, stock and I, I think it's all included in Express, I think. At least everything that I've tried to use mm-hmm. has been available okay what else we need maybe what do you call this like a little hill yeah Brown well like is cliff? it grassy like a grassy grassy or grass grass on like a little i don't know yeah. <laughs> plain hill? hill ledge yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> That's all the thing, right? It's just like um, sometimes though about like what keywords you use to yes. find. Yes. Yeah, because like one word could change. Well, just like generating thing. something, it's like you have to learn that too, how yeah. to to tell the search what you want. I'm just gonna type land. We're figuring it out, but um, yeah, landscape is a word I use a lot. Yeah. Field, mountains, hills, but. Uh, don't worry. We'll start with some of the stuff I downloaded already. There you go. Number them right here for you guys. Also, <laughs> you can find the same photos on Adobe Stock, right? So this is the one of them we're going to use. 
there's a number here so you guys can go find it yes. I'm just gonna go through it slow and this is the other one I'm gonna be using um, this this one for the foreground right mm. so we're gonna use this one for the the bottom left part. Nice. yeah and then uh, this for the cloud but we oh. can also replace it so we're gonna start with this four and then uh, from there we're gonna build differently from what I pre-made so mm -hmm. I'm gonna drag this directly onto Photoshop it will create a smart object and we're gonna start compositing. Let's go. Um, let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. So, um, doop, boop, boop. Oh, I have to make, let me make something new real quick. So, what I wanna do is to have two up vertical, right? So, mm, so you can refer to it as you. Yeah, I wanna go drag this into here. So I don't have to like skip back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like yes. that. And we gonna start composite. So these are the photo we found earlier. I'm gonna starting with this. Um, what I usually like to do is, um, there's a different way to do it. You can do like, I think select and sky. I'm on the right, I just gotta make sure I'm on the right there. So, yes. That's select the sky, and then you can it use really this toolbar. Job. Yeah, it did a really, really good job. So you can click this and invert it, right? Or what do you call this mode? It's like an overlay yeah, mask? Yeah, I think it's called a, I think it's an overlay. Yeah. But I don't, oh, quick, quick mask. Quick mask. Yeah. So it's pressing Q. Yeah, um, quick mask. It's showing like what you're selecting and what yeah. you're not. So you can also like go in and brush the details. Right. And then uh, make sure to invert the mask or make sure like you're selecting what you want to mask. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's one way to do it too. The other way, like you can always just using like, um, sometimes I get a little bit lazy that I just press W, the quick selection tool and just brush like that. Sometimes sure. it works. Yeah. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. <laughs> um, so we gotta go with the lazier way. Just, uh, I mean, they're both one click, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, so way. which yeah. one's, yeah. Which one's actually way? lazier? How lazy can I be? <laughs> that's, that's the challenge. We're going to move this here. Make it smaller. Ah, so we can go you got more bigger space, there. Yeah. Yay. And my workspace, I have the right side, I have opens a history, navigator, and then properties, right? Um, navigator for me is really good. Um, so instead of like when I'm compositing, instead of like I have to step, um, 10 step away to relook look mm -hmm. at the com composition and everything, I can just see the smaller version on the on the right that's, side. Yeah, you know? that's awesome. So it helped me to decide something. I can just take a look at that. I was like, okay, like, I need to redo um, some parts or not. So, okay. I'm sorry. Oops. Oh. <laughs> you're, not, so you're not a part of this conversation. Yeah, I was like, um, Stop listening to <laughs> yeah, my stop conversation. To us. Like stop it. You know? <laughs> like I didn't you're not invited to the party. The pizza party. Yeah. That's really funny. That never happened I'm before. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start with that. Kind of create a fill in there. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this one. And you might be like thinking like, what, how are you gonna combine this yeah, two together? Yeah, how are you gonna combine yeah. it together? Let's see. It's easy. So, because we gotta remember, right, the light source is coming from this direction, but on this photo is mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. So all we have to do, it's a simple right click, com command T or control T, right click, uh, transform, flip horizon, uh, horizontal, right? Horizontal? Horizontal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then we're just gonna drag it behind it and then re, Position it. That's awesome. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna move a run. Oops. I'm just gonna make it bigger. Maybe like maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. And then we're gonna move this. This is where I keep expanding outside the canvas. So uh, I'll tell you what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. Um. Right here. Like. Mm, let me use this brush. So everything around here looks fine to me. The lighting's coming from the similar mm -hmm. directions. Um, the the fog, the yeah. mist, 
Yeah, this all this pot works pretty good for me. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's good. bothering me is this, right? Mm. So you could go in and use like different tool. Um, what do you call this? The healing spot, healing clone, yeah. or whatever to do to remove that. Um, but for me, like who is like always composite pretty fast. Uh, I'm just gonna like keep making bigger and then hide it. You know? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if you don't see, then it's not a problem. It's right? not there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't no say one, like was no it even there? Know. Yeah, they'll never know. Who's right? gonna know? Till you get my PSD file, you're like, what? What is going on <laughs> it's here? Like, come on. <laughs> it's like there's a, a little secret, right? Yeah. When, when you don't see, then it's not. It's, it's not, not a problem, there. Right? Not real. See, like it looks like fine. So oh I'm yeah, make sure. Uh, to fix this a little bit, I'm gonna just brush it down with 30% opacity. That's fine. Maybe just go even like that. Yeah. No. You know what? <laughs> hmm, do I have to hide you? <laughs> <laughs> hide you also? Wait, uh, let Debbie me says, look at just it. Just select and let AI decide for you. Yeah. I just want to kind of like that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Because what I could do is I uh, move the bag and just see like uh, which one will work the best. But it's okay. We're, we're gonna go with that. That's fine. Because like later on we can change something else too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. So now what else we need? Oh. So we have, for example, we have the this part and this part. So now we need the front part mm -hmm. and then the cloud, right? Yeah. So to do that, let me jump back to here. I am going to do the same thing to that layer. We're going to remove the sky from the... Oop. Cannot complete your request. Hmm. Just got to make sure I'm selecting the right layer. Yeah, I was going to ask if you're on the right layer. Just there try it again. Is that have you turned it on and turn, turn it off yeah. and turn it on did again? You it yeah, did you unplug it? Yeah, did you unplug it? You know, and then and it works. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't know why is it Maybe working. Maybe Photoshop is just being lazy, and then it's like, all right, fine. Yeah, fine, Photoshop's I'll do like, it. you know what? We're gonna be lazy together. Yeah, might as well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are that. And then, do I want to read? No, that's the wrong. Here, let me name this <laughs> foreground and midground. Cause I like, keep clicking the wrong yeah. one. Yeah, I know they look so similar, so small like that. Yeah, and we can color code it too. Yes. So like whichever is Absolutely. easier for you to see. Uh, let me see. Does that looks better? I don't know which one looks better. We have option one. Option. And option two. Oh, they go back. I like that. You like that one? Yeah. All right. We're going to keep that one. Yeah. So if it looks bad, I can say it's not my problem. It's my, you know? it's my yeah. fault. It's okay. <laughs> you can blame it on me. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> so, whoop. oh, yeah. Let me save the file. Oh, yeah. Good Adobe call. Live. Yeah. Always save your file. Mm-hmm. In case it crashed. Oh, yeah. You can fix it. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and build the shadow part. So we're going to oh, use yeah. this, right? So for this, it's the similar breakdown. Um, the lighting is actually different on this one because um, it's actually coming from like this is in the front, yeah. but there's a lighting coming from there, right? Because right? yeah. this is the shadow yeah. and the highlights there. Um, so let me see. It's pretty easy fix. Well, we just always remove something we don't want. So we're gonna select that, then invert it. And boom, now we have this. Yes. And then we gotta figure it out the composition. No, not that. <laughs> we gotta do this. And I kinda like the the foreground, the, the reflections, the water yeah. part. I wanna keep it. Um, so something I do this sometimes too that you can't really tell is that I just hold shift and I mean control uh, command T to do the transform. And then I hold shift on mine because I have to lock mm, to change the, uh, mm -hmm. it's not locked into the actual it's not ratio. The yeah. Ratio, yeah. Yeah, the ratio. Yeah. So I just do. You can kind of squash it. Yeah, squash it. Yeah. Just make it like flat. So you don't you don't even really know, right? No, like, no, oh, no, like, no. That's kind of how it looks like. I yeah. swear. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how I found it. <laughs> you guys didn't see anything, right? 
Um, he didn't see anything. So we got a little, and then what we're gonna do, there's a few things we're gonna fix from here. So basically what we're gonna do is like, um, first I have to make this dark, and then fix the tone so it match mm -hmm. the background. And second is that um, I'm gonna have to take this part out. Right, yeah. the reflection. The reflection. Of that. Yeah. And then this part, actually I have to make the mountain uh, uh -huh. reflected <clears throat> on the bottom, right? Yeah. So let's see, how do we do this? Processing my head, there's like a yes. spinning the bar going on, the you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, troubleshooting, like, do, 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 bing. Yep. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so, let me do this. Uh, full foreground. That's that's not an actual turn. I just made that up, but it's for me to understand. <laughs> well, where it, this makes is. Sense. Yeah. it makes sense. It makes sense. That's the, yeah. Yeah. There's multiple foregrounds, and this is the most foreground. Yeah, so we're gonna use the famous. Re, uh, is it remove tool, right? The, yeah. Yeah, the remove yeah. tool. And then I'm just holding J. Uh, you can also hold Shift J to switch in between the tools on mm. that. Uh, and then I'm just gonna hopefully this work. If not, oh, actually not remove tool. Sorry, I remember remove tool doesn't work. We got hey, and we're gonna <laughs> select here. And this is what Jim Phil is for. Oh yeah. Yes. We're gonna do gem fill instead. Let it do the work. Either gem fill or yeah. remove tool. One of it will work. I don't okay. know which one, but we gotta figure it out. Let's see. Yeah. That's the thing is it's nice to know how to do things multiple ways. Because mm -hmm. for certain images, things work better. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Zoom all the way in. Oh, that looks, yeah, ooh. Uh, you like that better? Is that a person? I don't, I don't know, <laughs> it's kinda hard to tell. I kinda like that last one. Looks this like one? a path, yeah. Yeah, last one could work. We'll keep that, why not? Yeah, right. I mean, it's gonna be small anyway. So. And we're gonna flatter in the whole layers and save it. Cause what I did was I went into the smart object and then to add it the original photo. Yeah. So when I close it, it should update it here, right? So this is, is like great. before yeah. and after. Yes. Right. So uh, what it does, the difference is that now whatever I change the size and dimension or whatever, it still keep the high resolution. So it yeah. doesn't affect the original photo. Well, till I click, double click and jumping and do that, right? Okay, so we got that. Um, and then I'm gonna use selection tool right quick selections and I just select the reflection which yeah. somehow it worked very well here. it worked really good I don't know why but it does uh, I'm gonna create a group and put that mask there uh, there's nothing in there right now so I'm just like, living in the B we'll go back and edit it okay <laughs> now we're gonna pop into here using um, these single adjustment layers thing I don't know I like to use this instead of like going uh, do you ever go into filter and adjustment layer filter? Some, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Was it layer? Yeah, layer yeah. adjustment layer. Uh, for me, I'm just like getting lazy. That's, I'm just like, oh, this is panels no, right here. No, I think yeah. that's the easiest way to do it, for yeah. sure. Everyone is agreeing in the chat that color coding your layers is the best. Yeah. I should get into that, actually. I, know. <laughs> I don't even name my layers. I'm a monster. I'm <laughs> a monster. I'm <laughs> a monster, guys. I'm sorry. So we're going to use uh, hue saturation, desaturate it, and then use the uh, the brightness to ding it down. So it kind of give you like feeling of right. So yeah. we have we have a reference on the left side. So uh, whatever you're creating on the right side, you when I run into the problem, yeah, yeah, I'll just like, uh, oh, like, hey, like, I see how the light works in that photo. Absolutely, like, I can use yeah. that on my creation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's really smart. Now you can even go in here, just give it like a nice green tone. Actually, the other way I like to do is to use this this little icon right here. You click it, go to selective color, and clip to the to the thing, right? So yeah. Here, I'm gonna code it just for you guys can see. <laughs> this is all one layer. That's awesome. Yeah, and I'm gonna go in here, and then the blacks, the new, was it neutral? And whites, so this toggle the three tone, like the highlight, the mid tone, and then the shadow. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the actual correct way, like what it means, but that's you know how what? I use it. However, it works. Yeah. Is how it works. Like, yeah. Because then you can change the the darkness on it, and yes. then you can also add tone uh, onto it to like Which is really cool. to match them, right? Yeah. Uh, I think this one's a little bit, a little bit there, something like that. Is it though? 
Let me see. It looks pretty good. Yeah. The green. Yeah. Yeah. There's a tone on that. And then you can also go into the mid tone, which toggles like the difference on yeah. there. Uh, we gotta leave it like that. That's right. So I don't know if a lot of people use that layer adjustment. That's cool though. Yeah. I really found it uh, during my YouTube journey <laughs> many years ago. And I was just like, oh, like, I don't know what this does, but it works. So yes. I've been using that. I also use color balance. It yeah. helps a lot too. Yeah. Okay. So from there, we, I'm going to call it. It Cato. looks really good already. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Teamwork. We're teamwork doing this together. Makes, makes the dream yeah. Work. And if anybody comes in and looks bad, I was like, no, not teamwork, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call it M1. Mountain one. Mountain one. <laughs> there you go. So you get Mountain it. Mountain. I, I understand <laughs> yeah, you. I you get understand it. me. Yeah. Speak my broken design <laughs> language. <laughs> the unofficial term. Like there is always yeah. stuff that just makes sense to you, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep the powder of that color and then mountain one, that color, right? So I use cool. the selection tool, select like the mountain. I'm just going to control C and control V, paste it, control T, transform, and vertical right and then this is the layer mask we created earlier and this is what we need it for I'm just gonna drop it in here turn it on uh, should be there perfect nice. and I'm gonna hold shift and click the mask so I can temporarily dis temporary disable it yes <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so much talking today. You're yeah. doing great. You're flying through this. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you. It's a two month of uh, Twitch training. You know, <laughs> just doing live stream all the time by myself, talking to myself. Talking like, to myself. All up, all up, do but. you do you just talk to yourself when you edit by yourself now, even if you're not streaming? You're yeah. Like I gotta be talking. No, 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 no. If I'm not streaming, I'm just like, oh, I just want to lay on the couch and not do anything. You know. <laughs> yeah. Because yesterday I accidentally like streamed like five hours That's straight. That's insane. Yeah, I know. I was like, I don't know how you did that. I don't know you. And how your no. brain is functioning. That's. I, was just like, I mean, that takes talent. That's a headache. Lot. Oh know. yeah. But at one point I just started like talking video games, you know. Just yeah. Like, hey, let's, let's change the topic, chat. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's fun. All right, we don't have to go super detail because this is just for. Study. Uh, I don't know exactly if that's how the reflection is supposed to look like. Um, but we can also always jump back to, where's my Pado? Jump back to Pado to see, right? So if the mountain's yes. kind of there, it's flat, but yeah. it's there. Yeah. So, um, you should be able to see somehow maybe there, oh, we do need to Remove take that, that up. Guy. So, yeah. uh, we gonna go something easy. I think, uh, b -b -b maybe I put on the top. Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna hold come in, or you can do control um, PC and then left click. So I'm doing this. And then I created a new layer, and I'm just gonna use clone stem, which is S, and then options. Click where I want to sample. Click to current below, and then just like, oh, that's awkward. That didn't work. <laughs> I forgot to turn it on, sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works yesterday, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> Uh, I might just use remove tool. I don't know which whichever. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Huh. Yeah. No. Gotta make it a little bit bigger. Just cover it. Yeah. I mean, you get an idea. Just yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. I mean, you want pretty good. I don't think you will see that one. This I season. think that one's covered up. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta move this to the bottom, right? And then it's reflection. So reflection usually is a little bit darker. Uh, maybe not that dark. Uh, and then we got blur. Um, this is the other thing I need to do here. I'm going to control, change it to smart object. I'm going to put that layer of mask back so I can go in here. Blur, got some blur. And you can like, because you can always like, if I do it on smart object, mm -hmm. and I can always double click on it and then go back to change and it to different, it. right? Yeah, yeah, I can always like jump back and forth yeah. till uh, I match something I, I really like. Um, I am gonna do something like not super dark. Just brush on the layer mask, to, just to make the tip a little bit dark. I think the tone need to be fixed. Um, maybe we'll do that to 
but it shouldn't look too different from the top. Right, you know? yeah. Um, and then the edge is not looking perfect. So you can go in and then like use, I use soft brush. So if you press F5, there's the hard brush and soft one. I always use the soft one uh, to do like retouch on these. Cause you know, like it's like when you take a photo, when you zoom in, right? There's no yeah. like super sharp edge unless yeah. like, uh, uh, I mean there is, but like most of the time it's most not. Time yeah, it's for not, like yeah. not man made stuff most of the time. Yeah. Um, so we just we just gotta leave it like that, right? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and I can always just like you know like oh, I was like what 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 happened? There? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like that shouldn't oh it's like the Photoshop. It's just glitch. loading. Yeah. It's like, I know you're there. Like stop hiding. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. I say we gotta leave it like that. Yeah, yeah. for now, right? Um, okay, cool. So this is the reflection. All right, we're getting there. Uh, and we need clouds. We need clouds yes. on the top. So this is the cloud photo. Uh, same thing on this one. Quick breakdown. Lighting coming from here. Mm -hmm. This is a shadow. Uh, you have a nice haze, I mm -hmm. think is what it's called. Um, so to make it easier, I'm just going to select the top part and mask it and then drag it all the way behind everything. I think that's the top, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, you're going to be like thinking like, wait, like that doesn't look right. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is like when you zoom in really close, this is like an other thing for like when you're blending skies, uh, yeah, there's night sky, daytime, fog, distance, mm. sunshine. Um, there's like this haze right here, right? Yeah. So when you look far enough, yeah. like the it's just not simple like two photos together. There's right. like a, there's a light bouncing hazing in the very far distance. So you want to yeah. mimic that too. Right. Um, and somehow this also match with where that's coming from. Um, so all I have to do is probably just make it super big. And then you know that kind of like that. match in that direction, yeah. Right? And then you still have to fine tuning and then fix like you know because you don't want the like, clouds to be completely out of it. Yeah, that, that's the point. Yeah. See, there's like some part I didn't mask it clean, so I found it already. It's just, da, 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 and yeah, color coding really actually help. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where am I looking at? Okay. So to do yeah. something, let me let me test this brush real quick. Mm -hmm. I think I need to this need to be top. No, this need to be behind the mountain one. Okay. So I'm gonna use brush and simple, probably this color maybe. Yeah. And then just make the brush really big. And then just like kind of whoop, not there. Maybe it goes behind this. Kind of nice. mimic that. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but I think I will just work on it. It does Reduce look the good opacity. though. Capacity. Yeah, it's just like the this is the part where it comes to like the fine tuning, right? Like yes. I need to make this looks as good as possible. Yes. And then like to get everything right. Um, let's see. There's a lot. There's something missing there. Ooh. All right, there's like the storm coming and looking. Oh, I do a little bit of that. And then you also need to fine tune in the storm too, which I think mm -hmm. maybe yeah. that maybe might not do that. I could jump to this. I'm gonna target the shadow. There's a lot, a lot of fine. Detailing. This is a part where it's like, oh, people might just like get tired or get bored. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, like, hurry up. We want to see. Don't give up now. We want to see some magic. <laughs> do, do something crazy. You know? <laughs> like, I just like stand up and do a backflip and then like, jump back. Oh, that would be crazy. <laughs> While you're do. still editing somehow. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I mean, I could match the back tone and then mm -hmm. uh, this is where we see like the mountain need to be change the color to and then I'm gonna pull this into a folder so is that a folder uh, yes perfect then I'm gonna do a little bit like there 
I'm gonna invert the mask and then go in and repaint it the top because I, I like the top yeah. changing the to the brown darker color yeah, I but like I, I want to keep the green in the front right mm -hmm. in the front there we can see obviously there's something there so we need to go ahead and figure out which layer that is and then uh, if you pay attention to the left part this black and white the color box when I press X it goes switch in between mm -hmm. and then D is just to reset it to the default and switch in between so like I can uh, change the opacity down the top to the opacity is always changing because I hit the short key uh, right. the number 4, 6, 7, 40%, 60% yeah. so I can just like brush off those months in there and obviously we need to fix the cloud then I can even just make it bigger and then try and do match match that right and then there's like some green there then I need to figure out where is that green coming from? Yeah. Ah, there you go. I found oh, you. The grass. Yeah. So I'm just like, pin up. But that's like the background from the cloud. So yeah. we're not going to do that. We can do like some color tuning on that too. So if this is where that's coming from, then I'm just clip this color balance, go in there, maybe a little bit red, inverted it, and go back and pin it, right? It's just mm -hmm. like get rid of that. Or you can use the hue saturation tool to take out like the hue right. uh, and stuff, you know? And I just noticed what's going on is because this need to be a little bit more going maybe here. Let me let me test it out um, real quick. Uh huh. I see. I see. Hmm. Don't give up on me, guys. <laughs> Stick with us. Stick with us. The magic is coming a <laughs> bit. I don't know when, but soon. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I might even just put it wrong here. It's because I want the light so it's coming, like looks yes. better. I was like, something was off around there. And I can put a mask. Maybe around here. Boop. Go brighter, sorry. Maybe darker all right and then we're gonna pop back to mountain one and then we're gonna clip it and create shadows on there because says this we're here ted <laughs> <laughs> is he in that tiktok like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> that's what i've been doing <laughs> and then you're on the side like duh, duh. <laughs> and I try, you know what I'm, no. <laughs> I'm just waiting in yeah. suspense I'm, it's so fun to see it all come together yeah because uh under the cloud, there's a, they see the tip of the mountain, the yeah. cloud kind of happened to blending with the back one. Like, and I was like, okay, that works. Yeah. We still need to fix this. So I am gonna see if there's an easier way to do this. Um, most of the time, the easiest <laughs> way to fix stuff is just to like brush it away. Um, I can just like, probably just gonna do that. Dun, 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 dun. Debbie says, you're a modern day Bob Ross moving fluffy little clouds around like magic. I know, right? I gotta learn how to talk like him. Like, from so, here, so calming. Yeah, we're gonna add a little happy, happy little cloud trail right there. And then we're gonna make it work. Yeah, you're doing <laughs> great. Man, we're doing <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Wait, I forgot what I was doing, but yeah, that'll do, you know, that's the tr trick your eyes. I it mean, there's good. a lot of detail, but... Shiva says, amazing at it. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't disappoint you. Oh, no. Um, let's see, okay. So, what is this? Okay, that's M2. This is why my layer gets, Mountain like, two. longer. Mountain 2, I know, right? I got you. If you, like, start expanding my layer, you're just like, whoa, like, we went from, like, four layers <laughs> to, like, 50 in, like, five minutes. Like, what, know, what is happening? so fast. Yeah, it is like, uh, I don't know what happened, just guys. going wild. Okay, okay. So, M2. Between M2 and M1, where did M1 go? Why is it group seven now? Oh <laughs> Between M2 gosh. and M1. They're, <laughs> they're naming themselves. Yeah, there has, like, a, a certain type of like the 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 haze is in yes. there the light bouncing right the right. Uh, when you go shoot like um, nature photography yeah. you go to like a foggy area yes. sunrise like all the water in the yeah. air yeah so yeah. yeah this is why like it's also important to be a photographer so you can learn a different way and how photos should look like sometimes yeah. right Absolutely. Uh, I'm just gonna brush it and then screen changing the blending mode to screen and then just re do it like that. Boom. That's 
Cool. Just gonna save this. And from here, you can also go like something crazier. Um, I like to add a little bit like lighting leaking from the left side. Let's like simple, maybe here, right? You can just like, um, here, I'm gonna use more dramatic colors so you guys can actually yeah, see better. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I think I'll do this and then do same color like that. Okay, so usually when I clear, create a light leak, Use sixty percent opacity, soft brush. Uh, starting with the softer color, actually 40, 30 percent, right? Click it, and then you shrink the size. Click it, and then click mm. it, and then like the middle part is like brighter, and then yeah. you switch to like right. So now it looks like an actual sunlight. It really does. Right. right? So that's like the yes, secret even sauce. With the rays, yeah. It looks right? so good. That's how you create it, and then. Um, you can just make it bigger and then hide it somewhere there, right? Wow. And then have like beautiful. Have that light glowing happening, it and then really it really feels like it. it's glowing. Yeah, so you have that light, secret tiny sunlight leaking feeling that yeah. um, it doesn't take too much to make. It's easy. Absolutely. Um, yeah. We have five minutes left to see. Five minutes left. Four minutes now. Okay, okay. I know. We're gonna do this real this quick. This went by uh, so uh, fast. I'm gonna do gradient map. And then I'm gonna <laughs> jump this to soft light. You can I do soft light overlay. You and then you can screen down. <laughs> and there's a preset. And then we're gonna use. <laughs> um, click wow, in this. So click good. that. Um, so I think this there. is gonna change the. We're gonna use dark green for the bottom. And then we're gonna create like an orange highlight for the highlight. And maybe it's around there. Mm -hmm. Probably like that. I'm not really sure. You can always change it. Create this. And then reduce it to like 30%, right? So there's like a color grading that you can add to it. And you can go back and fine tune it, like yes. affecting a different highlight, um, kind of like more green, more blue, more like any color you desire, right? So you can do that. So that this is what we so create good. on here today. Debbie says you could uh, add a dragon. Add a dragon? Uh, dragon, yeah. <laughs> dragon. I don't know. Sometimes it works on we it. We have well. a couple minutes. We have a couple yeah. minutes. Yeah, uh, like but I want to show you what I did yesterday and compare yes. to what we did here today. So this is what I made yesterday at home. But I actually like what we make today I better. I love right? what we made. Too. I mean, the, the other one is great too, but I love the colors in this one. Yes, yeah, so it's very different. So this is all same yes. photos. So, you know, oh. if you guys want the PSD file, I can share the link. Yes. Post, I'll post on my story on my Then you guys Instagram. can... Yeah. Um, Make your own and see how yours comes yeah. out, which is cool. Yeah, but and all this is on Adobe stock for free. Yes. Exact number, you know. Yes, absolutely. Right, so it's the difference with two. That is crazy. Yeah. I it did does yesterday look so and today. Different. It looks so different, right? It, it looks really like two different does. things. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like two yeah. different places almost. Yeah, and all from the photo from the left, left yes. side, that Firefly generator. And one thing I realized uh, was very interesting is that, um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna cover it. So I realized like, so back in the day, I used to have to go find like lens flare photo yes. to use it. You can license it on Adobe Stock too, they're like yeah. free one. But I realized that you can use that to generate with Firefly that yes, I didn't think absolutely. of, you know. So we gotta do lens And Christian says, um, it was worth it today just for the solar secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so it's like a fun, fun uh, thing I use yes. a lot in like anywhere. That's any really way. cool, yeah, so, I like that, yeah. I've never, I've never seen that before. You use like 30% and then you start with the darker color from the outside yeah. and then you shrink the brush inside and then smaller and then make it brighter and the middle is like one white dot. That's really cool. Maybe not that, but, oh, sorry. Circular <laughs> lens <laughs> flare black background. I think that's the one. I totally spelled that wrong, by the way. Oh, uh, see what it, see if it knows. Yeah. Let's see, we got, we got a few minutes. Couple Maybe minutes. it will render. Let's go. Let's go, AI. Let's go. You got it. We're rooting. <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to start a new one? Maybe it is called lens flare. I didn't know that there's a different term for lens flare. I know. And also, I just realized, I think lens flare. Uh, there's like circular, hexagon, yeah. ghosting, or whatever. Oh, um, ghosting. That's yeah, I cool. didn't know. I just like, oh, lens flare, left to right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shiva says, I'm really impressed with this edit. Oh, yeah, that looks. <sighs> We're just going to do screen. That uh, looks weird, but we'll make one of this work, maybe. I mean, but you guys get an idea. I just want to. Yeah. I just want to show you guys like, hey, you can actually generate lens flare yes. with. <laughs> that looks like a. That's cool. Uh, yeah, you, you can, can actually. Tone it down. Yeah, you can actually generate a lens flare for your photo by Firefly. That's awesome. But 
I just want to show you guys that since I have that. But yeah, now That's you have cool. before and after. And if you guys want this file, let me know. I'll share the on link, Instagram. post it. Yeah, on my yes. story. You can download it. You can like find exactly uh, photos on there and practice. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ted. This was such a great stream. Thank you all for joining us. And I hope that you guys do all take this and practice and make your own <laughs> photos. And then make sure to tag Ted, too, so that he can see them yeah. um, once they're all done. And thank you for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>